Hi, my name is Chell Lindgren. I'm an astronaut at uh, NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Right now, I'm working in uh, the Arizona desert in a program called Desert Rats, as you know. And uh, it's been a terrific experience. We're about uh, three days into our two-week uh, test program, and uh, we've been fielding some questions from uh, our Facebook page. Uh, I have a question here from Casey Pilchner Hines. What does a successful mission consist of while you are out testing? Well, it's a really good question, and uh, there are kind of two answers, actually. The, the first one is that every day we have a, a certain set of conditions that we are trying to find out. Um, and when we go out into the field, we have some specific uh, science objectives that uh, Mission Control has given us to answer. So if we are able to conduct our operations and do our exploration in a manner that meets all the obje those objectives, then we would call that a successful day. Now, from a larger perspective, um, we have some questions about uh, how we would conduct operations to explore an asteroid. And so if we get out of this two-week uh, test program, having answered or at least addressed many of those questions, uh, how delayed communications might work, uh, what the best configuration is for the number of crew members, the types of vehicles, and how we would uh, use those to explore an asteroid, then I would think that we would call our overall uh, Desert Rats experience out here, that two-week experience, a success. Um, right now, I'm sitting in the deep space habitat, and this is where uh, I'm a part of Crew Alpha, and we're going to be staying here for the next three nights, testing out the configurations for exercise, sleep, hygiene, and, uh, and, and work during the day. Um, this has been a tremendous experience thus far, and uh, I'm looking forward to the, the next few weeks. Thank you so much for this question, and I uh, hope to talk to you all again soon.